Yep, so back to getting this glued together. <coughs> but yeah, I'm going to um, KomoriCon for the next uh, four days, starting tomorrow. So unfortunately, I'm going to miss out on combat, at least the beginning of it, in uh, Landmark. But I will get my download done today. Basically, today is my um, patch day for my, my costume. Making small adjustments here and there. Um, of course, we're building the sword and getting that together. Depending on how fast I What I will do is um, I'll improve the outer skin on it. I want to install lights in the eyes, all that good stuff. So I have a definitely a very busy day <laughs> ahead of me. have any questions to ask me um when you ask a question just go ahead and make sure you type in my um twitch name da vinci that way it'll pop up in red i uh, know i'm looking at the screen to answer that question Once again, I'm just applying it, you know, about an inch, inch and a half of glue at a time, <clears throat> and um, just holding down both sides. do too once you get a good enough of your your, your foamery glued go to the back side if you can and put an, an additional bead of glue right down the seam that just helps to uh, reinforce the bond a lot of folks don't do this but they really should just makes that you know that seam even tighter stronger Offline, let's double check. Ah, yes, it is. Thank you, man, for letting me know. There we go. Here glued together, I'm going to start work on the center section of it. The pretty much going to be built in three pieces. Uh, the left edge, the right edge, and the central part of the blade itself. Uh, I'll 
doing some some really hard looking at the, uh, the swords in the game. Class they have the game. And I was noticing that um, even though the skulls on the center part of, of the sword are raised, the actual central part of the sword is recessed. Which is why I'm doing this um, different technique uh, of putting it together. Alright, um, the user. Cool, cool. If you're not already following my channel, please hit that follow button. That way you can be kept apprised of when I, when I do my um, coffee streams as well as my game streams. I definitely plan on streaming my cosplay stuff more than um, the one time a week. Had a really good turnout the last time I did this, so uh, it seems to me that you guys actually like this stuff, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> and I want to see more of it, so I might end up doing this uh, maybe three or four times, probably three times a week, uh, amongst my my gaming streams too. This sword will be built tonight. Fully. Fully built. I'm gonna use a um, a long PVC pipe for my core. You know, it'll go straight down to the handle. I also plan on making one of the uh, one of the skull faces actually detachable. On the sword, and what I'm going to do is in that area that it detaches from will be where I put my battery pack at. I like have the stuff up. I love adding LEDs and lights to um, all my cosplays and props, but the uh, the tricky part is always trying to figure out where to hide the battery pack <laughs> and the batteries. It's always tricky. Alright, you get some once again. I put some extra glue down the seam just to reinforce that bond. And once again, I'm bending the foam so it attaches better. And just holding it in place till it dries. When this sword is done, it should be about um about six feet three inches tall, or six four. So it's going to be either one or two inches taller than me. make sure you got a strong core so if you're using wood use a strong wood don't use something like a pine pine is too weak when it comes to like length now, well unless the sword's going to be really really thin and small kind of like a rapier you know then that's that that's fine for that but like this sword here is um gonna be about, about two and a half feet wide between two and two and a half feet wide, so something that wide you want a strong core. So you can use PVC pipe, you can use copper, like a copper stripping, um, brass. So you, you have some options, just make sure it's not too heavy for you. You know, and if you are going to work with something that's heavy, make sure you um, put a lot of the weight in the hilt. So it counterbalances the length of the sword. That way it won't be hard for you to um, 
carry it around, you know, pose with it, because the weight will be where your hand is at. So it's gonna make the sword feel lighter to you. Versus having the weight on the tip of the sword, you know. Trust me, you don't want that. <laughs> you do not want all your weight located on the tip of the sword. It's gonna make it very hard for you to pose with, move around with, stuff like that. All right, once again, let's go and go ahead and do this whole last little section here. Smear it around once again, make sure I get that edge. And hold it together. Oh, got a little excess, wipe off my finger. Now, I'm not too worried about this being a concise fit on the scene because I will be doubling this down again with my Dremel to get the groove and the nicks in the sword. Um, if I was concerned about it being a tight edge, what I might do is uh, I might use like contact cement on this. Contact cement and like barge uh, with your barge glues, Dual 88 all contact cement glues they are actually excellent for foam because once you um attach both sides that's it it's stuck instantly but because of that you gotta be really really careful and make sure that you know when you, when you do touch them together it's a precise fit you will have no room to slide it around into in, in one position also, when it comes to using like barge glue and Dual 88, you have to make sure you are in a well ventilated area, you got fans on, and you're wearing your respirator. If not, you will lose some brain cells. With that being said, a lot of the uh, experts, you know, in the big uh, FX studios like Stan Winston School or guys like Ted Hane, which is like a master fabricator with foam. They use the stuff. But they make sure, you know, well ventilated, they're wearing their masks, all that good stuff. Okay. And just put another bit of glue, last portion here, that I can go to my next piece. There go. Let that set. There. Now I have to bevel these pieces here. I made sure that um, I labeled the inside all my pieces so I know the right side pieces from the left side pieces because the sword has different blade edges. Um, sure, I can take things down. That's no problem. Yeah, I love working to my music. It helps get me in the zone. How does that sound now? Oh, let me minimize the screen. Yeah, I'm very much so a music artsy person. Gotta have my music when I work. So, real quick, I'm going to attach the next segment on the blade here. 